These plants are often introduced by accident or intentionally outside of their natural geographic range and end up becoming problematic. Invasive alien species are found all over Namibia, in our gardens, riverbeds and even nurseries. Producing copious amounts of seeds while growing like weeds, some invasive alien species are famous for being toxic to both animals and humans. There are about 58 invasive alien species in Namibia, says the curator of the National Botanic Garden. If you drive from here to Brackwater, on your right and on, on your left, it's a beautiful cashier uh, riolobe. Now and then you see they kind of getting less and less and less and the prosopis they are getting many. If you drive somewhere in the, in the east, Nosob River is full of prosopis. And from the beginning it was the Kesha and um, the Crostachis, you know. So they, 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 they take over. Now, Doing so, we need to control them. The fountain grass, wonder tree and deadly rubber vine are some of the invasive alien plant species. The seeds are spread by birds, bought as ornaments or came with imported fodder. Unlike countries like Australia and South Africa, Namibia is not restricting the buying or growing of these invasive alien species. In Namibia we don't have anything like that. There's no regulations on what plants are brought in, um, what plants are planted, what nurseries are allowed to sell. At the moment, um, um, if you're setting up an indigenous plant nursery, you have to request a permit to grow indigenous plant species. If you're setting up a nursery that's bringing or you know selling non-indigenous plant species, you don't have to request for a permit. So I think there has to be some changes within you know our regulations as they are, and I think we have to become a little bit. We have to enforce. Namibia has about 4,000 indigenous plant species, and 18% are endemic. The Botanical Society of Namibia is a volunteer organization which raises awareness about the country's indigenous flora. The fact that we have been able to raise awareness of what the society is doing and what is great is that um, families with young children are now coming on a Saturday morning to visit in the garden and children are, oh, oh, it, there's something of interest always for them. Oh, there have been a large number of um, students who have come through both UNAM and Namibia University of Science and Technology who are unable to find employment at, at the moment. And so this is really a good base for them to keep up their knowledge. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.